Hey everyone, we'd like to take just a moment to communicate an exciting transition that's taking place at Mountain Movers Church as we wrap up 2022. That's right. So many of you were with us in the fall of 2018 and many of you have joined our church family since then. But it was such an exciting time for us as a church as we just saw firsthand God doing all of these miracles and the church was just so incredibly full to the brim. We were doing four services, all of which were full, and our nursery was so full with all of these beautiful littles, it was just literally overflowing. We desperately needed to expand our space. We knew it was time to expand for sure. So on October 14th, 2018, the families of MMC brought their first, their biggest, yes. and their best offerings to the house of God as yeah. we laid our money at his feet while yeah. trusting him to make provision for the vision to build. This was the first of many offerings to come as we launched what we would eventually call the This Is Our Time expansion project. So the campaign objective was to raise $1 million with the vision of adding the 4,200 square foot sanctuary space that many of you are enjoying right now every Sunday, while also remodeling the old sanctuary to into the lobby and the bathrooms. And then we had the goal of purchasing a modular unit that was 26 by 68, and we were going to remodel that into what you now know as Little, Little Movers, Movers Nursery. And then there was one more piece to it. It was our parking lots. They were overflowing. So we added additional parking, which now you enjoy each and every week, and you definitely know we needed it. That's right. You know, But none of this would, would be possible without those of you who participated in this That's campaign. Right. Many of you gave very, very generously, yes. and you've continued giving generously even beyond the campaign. Yes, that's right. So generously, in fact, we have been able to expand the lobby space again to accommodate a new child check-in zone, which massively helped with the flow of traffic, while also allowing us to operate at a higher level of security to keep our children safe. In addition, we've been able to renovate yet another modular building, allowing much more space for our Mighty Movers preschoolers, right. as well as Power Up. It's a place for Serve Team volunteers kids to hang out and have fun while their parents are serving. Uh, we're even able to squeeze in a studio for video production, uh, which is actually where, we, where we're right. recording this video right now. Much needed space for sharing the gospel and building up believers each and every week. Another difference your giving has made is more concrete on campus. A, a lot, lot more, more concrete. concrete. <laughs> You'll notice we've added more sidewalks as well as the concrete street in Life Village by the Creek, with ramps even going up to every single life room, making it handicap accessible. And finally, speaking of Life Village, we've been able to expand that space as well with a beautiful new walk bridge. Adults are now able to make their way across the creek and enjoy two new life rooms, making more room for more people to connect with other believers while growing in their faith and in their relationship with Christ. That's right. It's absolutely overwhelming what God has done through people just like you. And here's why. Many of you gave up something you loved for something you loved more. That's right. The kingdom of God and people who need hope. Many of you recognize that everything you had already belonged to God and came from God anyway. Yeah. So you committed to returning it back to Him willingly and joyfully. So His name would be made great in your homes and in your communities. And that's exactly what many of you have done and continue to do. Some of you weren't able to give all that you had in your heart to give, and that's okay. Many of you prayed relentlessly for us yeah. and for the building project. And I just want to say what an encouragement that was to us as yes. pastors during that season of battling while we were building. All in all, you all are amazing. And uh, we've said this before, and we're going to say it again, and you'll probably even hear us say it again and again and again. You know, God built more through this campaign than just buildings. Yes. Yes. He built, he built he built us, us That's up right. as, as individuals and as a church family. Yeah. You know, we learned really to to trust, yeah. to trust God, to trust him and more and to depend on him, yeah. to transfer control and surrender yes. ourselves fully to his perfect That's will. Right. We learned to rely on each other as well. We learned that if each of us would do what only we could do, that it would literally blow our mind what God would do with all of us joined together. And though we didn't raise all the money needed to finish, all that was in our hearts to finish, 
We accomplished so much. Mm, really, we just right. we accomplished what mattered most, and that's that right. was our mission, which yes. was to expand our space so more families would yes. have a place to experience real, real life, life change. That's right. And having said that, the campaign will officially come to an end on December 31st of this year. But our need to expand is not coming to an end at all. There's actually so many more improvements that are still needed on God's campus. That's right. So beginning January 2023, you're going to notice a change when it comes to giving options when you give through our app, our yes. website, or through text giving yep. under under give type. Uh, no longer will you see this this is our time expansion campaign yeah. as a giving option. Instead, you're going to see expansion fund. That's right. And the reason this fund is so important is because there is still so much that's needed to happen on campus. We'll give an example, multiple examples. One would be our first through fifth grade zone, which we call Momentum Kids. Yep. The worship space is is in need of being remodeled. Because that was actually that was the original the, the building, original building yeah. that we moved into after our, the, um, our, our mobile home. And so we're going to add some uh, boys and girls restrooms, a family restroom and a hallway uh, to uh, to all, so all the parents can go from the MMK lobby mm -hmm. around to the side of the worship zone to create a smoother flow of traffic yes. and a seamless one-way checkout process. That's right. There's also a lot of excavation work and dirt work and landscaping that still is yet to be completed. We also need to install bollards to protect the buildings and to keep our church family safe. As the growth continues, parking is also now becoming a challenge again, which is awesome. So we've actually expanded our parking space to the other side of the creek in the field. However, now we need to bring in gravel and lights to make it safe for our midweek experience. And Mighty Movers Playground has a beautiful new fence around around it, you may have noticed, but that right. playground desperately needs rubber mulch, right. lighting, again, for midweek nights. And yeah. as we as we approach the warmer seasons, uh, canopy shades will be needed for our preschoolers as well. Yes. And listen to this. This year, guys, we've already seen over 1,350 VIPs. That's brand new that people so awesome. attending MMC. So that means that Life Village is going to need some more life rooms over there in 2023 so yeah. that we will have room for those new families to get connected. That's right. So much still needs to be done, but yes. God is so faithful. Yes, he is. He always has been and he always will. Be. Yes. In conclusion, we just want to say thank you for your surrender and your sacrifice. We want to encourage you as your pastors to continue to faithfully give your tithe and your offering as we come into 2023. And even now, we would ask that you would prayerfully consider giving a year-end offering that would really help us to finish this year out strong and honestly be prepared to move into 2023 ready to do the work of ministry. Thank you guys again from the bottom of our hearts for your commitment, your sacrifice, and most of all for working with us to make Jesus, Jesus famous. famous. We love you.